Hi guys and welcome back to another episode and today we are in Edinburgh in Scotland and with my friends and colleague Fitzroy Simpson, a former professional football player, now working as an agent and we work on certain projects together. And yeah, today we have a meeting here in Edinburgh and uh, I'm happy that I can make a, a video today with uh, Fitz because Fitz or Fitzroy Fitz played, is Fitz is good. He played in a lot of different football clubs within uh, Great Britain. He played in the Premier League, he played in the Championship, he played in Scotland and just want to find out more about the Scottish Premiership. Yeah, How is it to be playing football in Scotland and especially for some young athletes? Is it a good move? Fitz, what do you think about and what's the difference between Scottish football and English football and is the Scottish Premier League a good league? Yeah, well, the Scottish Premier League is a, it's a strong league. I mean, having played in uh, English Premier League in Manchester City and played in the Championship, later in my career I needed a new challenge. I wanted to play in Europe and Hearts of Midlothian, the club that we're at today, afforded me that chance to play in Europe and um, I jumped at it. The major difference between the Scottish Premier League and the English Premier League is you can almost dictate the powerhouses in Scotland. Celtic and Rangers are monsters of football clubs and not far behind it historically is Hearts and Hibs and Aberdeen. You know, there but the level of competition is not consistent uh, as much, but it's still a great stepping stone for a young talent to come and play here and develop because if you can play in the Scottish Premier League at a tender age of 19, 20, your next obvious step is to play for Celtic and Rangers or then you'll go down south to England. Okay, like there, there's some players who made that earlier, who came over here to Scotland as a young player. Mm -hmm. And I mean, one, one major example is, for example, Virgil van Dijk, oh. right? Today, a Liverpool player, one of the best <laughs> defenders, if not the best defender in the world. Mm -hmm. He was here in Scotland, wasn't he? He played for Celtics, I think. Yeah, he played at Celtic. And again, it's the experience, you see, when you come in from Holland or one of these countries and you come to Scotland, you come in to try and get exposure in European football. It's a lot easier than with Celtic and Rangers because they tend to qualify for Champions League. If not, then it's a European. And you're always in finals, you're always in big stadiums, playing in, in big competitions. So it's a fantastic stepping stone. You've also got the boy Robertson, who's at Liverpool, the right back. He was up in Scotland at a tender age, playing at 17, playing three seasons. Then he makes a step to Hull. And he makes a step to Liverpool and the rest is history. It's a fantastic, fantastic breeding ground for young talent. Yeah, so what would you take out your time here in Scotland when you played here? Like what was different than playing in England, playing for the English teams? Like is the life different, like the lifestyle? Is the language a little bit different? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you've got, I'm not going to lie to you that the Scottish language is very strong here. It's a national language and it is a little bit different, but what I do know that it's a lot more passionate. Playing for Hearts of Midlothian or Hibs or Rangers or Celtic or Aberdeen, they are passionate about their football club. Mm. It's their be all and end all. I mean, in Edinburgh you have Hibs and Hearts, in Glasgow you've got Rangers and Celtic. You know, it's so much passion and a lot of people who have never really witnessed it and they go to a big game, they will be taken aback. I think it was um, Thierry Henry, when he played, came up here to play when he was at Arsenal, he was saying he couldn't believe the atmosphere. They smother you, they really are passionate. Yeah, how would like, I mean, you played for Hearts of Midlothian and today we are here, we, we've seen the training ground the facilities um, of this club and I personally was surprised positively I wasn't expecting such a such an environment it's amazing what they have here for the players uh, and, and amazing and what the facilities were world-class I mean like the indoor pitches and everything what they have I mean it's not a difference when I go and see a Bundesliga club mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I mean they had everything over here and this this facilities here around even here where we're right now mm -hmm. yeah, are fantastic how was it back then when you played here? Oh, okay, it's a massive transformation. When I first arrived to um, Hearts, the training ground was just a pitch where you could find it. I mean, I kid you not, and I'm not ashamed to say it, but I loved my time here. We had to take the goalposts on a van, and we had to peg the nets down on the game, and then if we were moved on by a member of public, because it was on public grass, then you just moved on and found it. But now today you see it state of the art, 
modern. These players are really spoiled because I had it really tough up here yeah. in a different environment. Fits like for for agents like I mean we what we're trying to do is also show the younger agents what kind of opportunities are outside there and that they could out, uh, should go out and try to get for their players the best and uh, is it a place where young agents from all over the world were listening like to this video later on mm -hmm. is it a place where should they and how should they approach these teams like what do you think is the best way is it like coming over here watching a game and trying to yeah. have a meeting or having contacts or like what would you suggest them like to to come in touch with these clubs is it offering them right away a top player and saying hey i have this player and um, should they consider it and how should they do it? What, what do you think is the best way how are scottish people in that i mean for a young agent aspiring agent and you're trying to work in scotland my biggest advice is come and embrace it and look at the game how it's played here it's totally different you've got to understand the requirements okay. um, some some specific clubs want technical players, some just want more physical players. You've got to know what you're advertising. And it's it's a fantastic country to come and embrace their culture. You've got to know it. And I would say go on and watch as many games, not just your Celtics or your Glasgow Rangers. You've got to go to your Kilmarnocks, your Ross Counties, your Aberdeens. Try to get a, an, understanding. an understanding of what the requirements are. But don't be scared because the public, as I say, when I was here, they, they made me feel welcome. It's a beautiful city, mm. very historic. Try to study the culture of the place. It's got fantastic history. Mm. And I would just say, yeah, come and have a look. Mm. Come and have a good Great. look. I mean, as you can see, like, the opportunity for your agents are massive. Like, every country, every league is another opportunity for you to build up the relationship, the network. You should go if you can to meet people, watch games, you know, to understand, get a feeling for that league, for that country, so you can give it back to the players you have as a client, to their families when you talk about that. And it's important. And this is how you build up step by step. And today we are here, tomorrow we are in a different place. So that's the world of you hopefully one day will be in and be successful as an agent. So get out there, meet people, go to different places, you know, take that time. Don't go to holiday instead of go <laughs> to Scotland and watch some games if you want to become a very big agent and a successful agent. Thanks, Guy, today from Edinburgh in Scotland and talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, Fitz. Thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Thank Anytime. You.